This is the best convention of them all. It's so great, it's spread amongst four hotels. It's insane. Is it five now? I, five, I was just, five hotels. I was just saying, I just went to the restroom, I was just saying, imagine just staying at the hotel but not being at the convention and being like, what the <laughs> hell is going on? <laughs> guy dressed as a monkey, there's a guy dressed as an upside down clown, what's going on? I'm just here for <laughs> a couple of days of business. <laughs> No. <laughs> I, no, I don't have any. Okay. I mean, it, no. No. Um, I mean, constantly, you know. Uh, um, Can't think of one. I think. Well, I think there's so many stories that we've told, though. It's it's now at this stage. That's actually the tricky thing: is trying to re remember things that we haven't talked about yet, <laughs> like that people don't already know. Um, Oh, Billy, can you tell a story about the guy pouring all of his, your feces all over him? Oh, yeah. So, <laughs> it's, a, it's a good one. It's a good one. When, when you're on set, a lot of the time you have a trailer, you know, so that when you're not shooting, you have somewhere where you can go and sit down or even lie down or perhaps watch an episode of a TV show. <laughs> Within these trailers, there is often a toilet. <clears throat> where you can pee or poo. <laughs> and it, it does, it's not connected to the sewage line. It has what, what is known, uh, what is it called? It's, a, it's like a bucket. There's a, there's a bucket where the pee and the poo <laughs> goes. <clears throat> this bucket has to be emptied occasionally, otherwise the trailer will explode. <laughs> and there will be shit all over New Zealand. We don't want that. So this guy uh, is part of the crew. That was part of his job was to, you know, empty the buckets of however it works. I don't, I'm not, I'm not a scientist. <laughs> <laughs> he was emptying my one, which I have never peed or pooed in. But for some reason, it was packed full of pee and poo. <laughs> I don't, I, like I say, I'm not, a, I'm not a poo scientist. <laughs> but there, I know that you do have to lock something before you unlock something. <laughs> he, I, I don't think he was a specialist. Because <laughs> he did not lock before he unlocked. And I just could hear from outside, I heard Vigo shouting, no! <laughs> and I looked out the window, just as this poo scientist and Vigo, <laughs> and just in the background, uh, Orlando Bloom, <laughs> were covered in poo and piss. And I was screaming, Woo! <laughs> Which made or Dominic look out of his window. He fainted. <laughs> Luckily, Elijah was on set, or I think it would have killed him. <laughs> oh, it's a good. Thing. I thought that they were recording sound from you know the moment where obviously Gandalf gets taken by the Balrog in the Fellowship. So I was just sat watching the film and I heard Vigo go no, and I was like, oh, I'm going to join in. I'll be kind of part of the crew. Yeah. But it was it looked like a, a like a chocolate cake kind of <laughs> and demolished in front of their faces and eyes and necks and fingers and toes. <laughs> Awful. Should have got photos really. <laughs> yeah, there's no there's no evidence. No evidence. No physical evidence remains. So it's been <laughs> it's been over twenty years since the Lord of the Rings has been there. And that's, it's that's stories. The memory like that. that just that's it. That's it. <laughs> Ben, will you have it? Yeah, I have. Uh, I certainly have. Um, which is really funny. I, I rewatched that uh, recently. I hadn't seen it in many years. And it's, my, my answers are really funny because I was quite adamant that I didn't wear wings. Yeah. <laughs> I'm like, why are you... I'm, I'm like talking to myself watching it. Like, dude, you do. You have worn wigs. 
And you say, you wore wigs in Lord of the Rings, and you certainly wear will we'll wear wigs again. I, I don't know why I wasn't more. I should have been way more yes and about it, to be honest. Uh, that's my critique of my 22-year-old self. I think you were a little irked at that point. I was a little I, irked. I was like. Kind of like, used yeah. in riding a ride and enjoying the ride, but I should have been, I could have been more yes and. and yeah. It's my only critique. Anyway, uh, yes, I, I, I have and I, I will. In fact, I made a movie last year that'll come out, I think, in October called Bookworm that I wear a wig in that movie. Nice. So, yeah. I like, wigs are great. Mm-hmm. <laughs> Do you like the moment where Mary and Pippin get sprung? having eaten lambas bread. And, you know, Legolas says, just a, just a small bite will feed a grown man for a few days or something like that. And then I turned to Pippin and said, how many have you had? And you say, six or six. six. <laughs> and clearly we've both eaten quite a bit, so we know that the rest of the day is going to be like, oh. <laughs> that was funny because Billy and I couldn't keep a straight face and sweet Orlando didn't know how to do the scene, did he? He was like, I feel like I'm doing an advertisement for Lambas bread. <laughs> and we were like, no, it's great. It's great that you're kind of taking the official company line of like, Lambas bread. <laughs> He's a grown man. And we're just like, yeah, I've had five of them already. <laughs> I think we are all in agreement that probably Sam I think would Sam be would, the best. Yes. But nah. in real life, in real life, probably not Sean. No, in, re- in real life, I think I think Billy. Hmm. I think you. I think. I think mm. Billy. I think I used to be better than I was, and I've had significant moments of not having drunk. I'm put myself at front. You wouldn't. I would. You think you're a better drinker than Billy? <laughs> wow. <laughs> Maybe we'll test it out tonight. No, no, no. Maybe. I mean, <laughs> maybe just behind Billy. I don't know that I would put myself ahead of him. I mean, he, he, he's bit, Scottish for fuck's sake. Yeah, he's sake. Scottish, and you very rarely see when it's Billy is in I mean, Do you know what I mean? You don't it comes in paints, you know. It comes in paints. <laughs> you don't see the effects of drinking it's, on Billy that true. much. You don't. Whereas, you, you can definitely hold it together, but Thank I can you. very often see, ah, oh, he's, he's feeling it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Whereas, not as much with you. I just saw Alien Romulus last week. Isn't it great? Uh, it might be my favorite Alien film since maybe Alien 3 or, or Aliens. I just thought it was, I was saying to the boys, just a really smart, contained, claustrophobic kind of space opera, but very much kind of paying homage to what Ridley Scott had created. Some special effects, but obviously it's not so full of special effects that you don't get to know the main characters and the humans, and I thought it was excellent. And a part of me thought, oh, that'd be nice to be in that world. Wouldn't that be a great world to be in where fear is around every single corner and in every single dark spot that you could look towards, you know? Very cool. Every single corner. (laughs) (laughs) I want to be in the Star Trek universe at some point. I don't even really care what. I just, I've always loved Star Trek. I'm a real Trekkie. And uh, yeah, I love the next generation. That's... Make it so. I'd love it. I'd love it. That'd be amazing. Yeah. So uh, yeah, that would be good. This looks a little bit like a Star Trek thing, doesn't it? It does. <laughs> <laughs> You're going to break that. Sorry. <laughs> That's what I'd see if I was the captain and you were doing that, you see. <laughs> That's going to come off in your hand, that! <laughs> Fuck's sake. <laughs> <laughs> It'd be a different show, wouldn't it? <laughs> yeah. Um, I mean, for me, I, I, I would love to... I, uh, I'd love to be in Star Wars or something related to Star Wars. Yeah. Such a huge fan of that universe. He's been in it. Been He's there. Been in He's it. in it. Done that. Got the T-shirt. Next. <laughs> <laughs> Um, He's an X-Man as well. He's done it all. I would love to see... Then there's things that, you know, I would just love to see uh, made, right? So, like, um, Black Hole, the comic, uh, the, the graphic novel. I'd love oh, to see scary. that made into a... Scary. 
into a, a feature or a TV series would be cool. I, I'm, I, I love Ray Bradbury. Um, I would love to see someone take on, I think this would be great for TV actually, is the Martian Chronicles, um, to do that again. Lovely. Really cool. Yeah, you there's know, just I'd a lot of, there's amazing work that still hasn't. No, uh, I'd love to see you. But there it. is a version of the Martian Chronicles. Oh uh, yeah, that's true. I'd love to see you in, if they ever remade it, which I don't think they would, but I would love to see you in Purple Rain. <laughs> <laughs> Not as Prince. I wouldn't no. put you as Prince. That's a bit weird. But like maybe... Morris Day. Morris Day. Morris Day. Or Sheila E. Someone like Sheila that, e. you know, with the yeah. little keyboard yeah. guitar thing. Yeah. Very good. You'd be brilliant. We hope you enjoyed these panel highlights from Dragon Con. That's all we can show you here. But if you want to see the full panel and much more, go to dragoncon.tv. You can sign up for a membership for $10 to see panels from the most recent Dragon Con and years past. And this isn't $10 a week or a month. It's $10 for a one year membership. So check out dragoncon.tv and of course, come back to Phantom Spotlight for more panel highlights and full panels from many other conventions. Enjoy. Hello, this is Carlos Alas Rocky from Rocco's Modern Life, and you're watching Fandom Spotlight. Be sure to like and share. And have fun and follow your fandom.